What's going on YouTube? For those of you stopping by for the first time, if you see something you like here today, please don't forget to subscribe at some point during this video. For those of you stopping by that have been here before, welcome back to TLTG Reviews, my friends. I'm glad you came to see me. So I get asked more often than you would think about what I use to take care of my beard. And just because I don't have a big massive beard doesn't mean it can't get wild and you, you're going to need some care to tame the mane. So here in this video, we'll go over just some of the products that I use in my regimen to take care of my beard. Let's get into it. Obviously where you're gonna start is you need a good daily beard wash. So some of the products I like to use, a company called Tricoastal Design, which I'm running quite low on it. This is a tobacco and birch. Those of you that have noticed I've mentioned this a few times in previous videos, I'm running kind of low on it. It's a thick gel. There you go. But it does leave my beard smelling really good. And then for, for those days when I just want a little mintiness going on because this does have a strong minty smell, this is Cremo Beard and Scruff Softener. Even with the longer hairs, it still gives a good soft feel and shine. This is not silicone based, very natural ingredients. This is really good to soften up your beard. But the main thing I like to use lately, uh, I switched up from Everyman Jack, is from Bulldog Skin Care for Men, their original beard shampoo and conditioner. This is pretty much what I use on a daily basis, and that's what we're going to use here right now. Just kind of run you through how I go about doing it. There you have it. Once you really got it massaged in, just wait for a good yeah, 20 to 30 seconds and then rinse it thoroughly. Make sure you dry it really good. Once you got it thoroughly washed, a good finishing product is going to be a few different options. If you have plans to go somewhere else and you tend to have a, you use the soap that was a bit drier and you feel like your daily beard wash didn't condition well enough, you can always do a second round. Or you can use something like L'Oreal Hydra Energetic Daily Beard Moisturizer. This stuff doesn't really have a scent, it's a light gel. Two to three pumps, depending on three pumps, will be good for a longer beard than mine. But um, two pumps, rub it in your hands, massage up, and you're good. Or if you're looking for something with a bit more of a pop, you can always go with a beard oil. This is a Brilliant example from Gentleman's Nod in conjunction with Zaharoff for the Zaharoff Signature Pour Ohm scent. As you can see, I put quite the dent in that one. Very high quality ingredients. Or from Sensual Obsessions, these are inspira inspired scents. Bond number no. 9, Andy Warhol and Creed Aventus. Kind of a smoky batch. Or you can always go with the Beard Balms. These are two different types of textures from two different companies. You have the mint blend from Cremo and tobacco and birch from TCD. Now with the TCD one, you just have to get a, little, get a little bit on your finger, which is what I'm going to use today, or at least just show you this. I'll probably go with mint blend. Real easy. You just rub it around in your hand and get it liquefied. Now in regards to Cremo, this needs to be liquefied. This is a harder balm. It takes a little bit more work. I'll get this to focus. It takes a little bit more work to liquefy this one. So what you're going to do in this situation, rub your finger around firmly. And you'll notice it starts to come off on here. And rub around some more. And get that real good on my hand. So, load it up my hand. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. The bigger the beard, the more you need. Got plenty. With most beard balms, what you're going to want to do is get, them, get it rubbed around really well in your hands. Liquefy it, spread it nice and evenly. And then as you see, I just massage it up into the hair. Back down, up, down, up, down, over and all 
over and over back and forth until I feel like I've got it thoroughly distributed throughout my beard and then pull out one of my beard combs such as this sandalwood brush from Cremo that does have a natural sandalwood smell. This thing smells beautiful and just kind of work the hair up then back down to style then up. When, when you find a, a nice style that you like, you'll figure out exactly what you need to do sometimes you got to move the hair over and start over and so on work it back and forth up and down until you get it exactly where you want and there you have it beards ready to go and attack the day that's pretty much my beard care that's it's very simple very easy a lot of the times with my daily beard wash that's done in the shower um, but early in the day if i need to run through it i'll do it right here in the sink and until next time do me a real quick favor go ahead and like comment subscribe i do appreciate all the feedback how many of you guys found this video useful helpful entertaining or entertaining or informative in any way or did you not even like it give me a thumbs down it is what it is um, but i did have several people ask what i use and what i do so like i said before just because you don't have a big gigantic large impressive long you know zz top type of beard duck dynasty kind of thing doesn't mean you don't need to take care of it you need to keep it trim <clears throat> in certain spots keep it shaped and take good care of it otherwise it'll get untamed wild and you'll have scraggly hairs all over the place because even with this i have i have trouble keeping it tame sometimes and until next time i will say if you get your hands on any of these products you give them a try who knows you might end up thanking me later have a good one guys